Howdy, folks. It is a cloudy, warm morning. It's about 6.30 right now. And uh, storms are coming in. Should be thunderstorming for about two days starting today. I got about an hour and a half or so till it really supposed to kick off. I figure that's enough time to head to the golf course because I ain't been there in a hot minute. Catch us some little bass for the morning so you know I can get my fish niche out of the way and maybe I can be productive doing other stuff around the house because I've really been neglecting that. So I'm gonna get myself loaded up with a little fishing kit. I'm gonna head down there see what we can find. Well here we are out the lovely golf course pond. One of them at least. This one's the smaller one but it has bigger fish in it typically I'm not gonna catch as many but I will catch better let's get casting ducks and geese are a little loud and obnoxious this morning aren't they mm, I'll go this way This way's a little bit better in case any golfers actually show up. I don't think they will. So early on a Sunday with the rainstorms coming, I don't think there'll be an issue. But just in case, I can go around the backside where I'm not in anyone's way. Instead of you know, walking right through the green. original lure not getting any attention maybe this rattle traps a little too aggressive for him it's not it's not fully warm spring yet let's, uh, let's switch out have a ton left in my basket apparently and that's still gonna be pretty aggressive I've got a little crawdad colored guy maybe he'll catch something not a color I typically use but the hell with it what I typically would do <clears throat> isn't working Damn it. Oop. Hey, there's something. What do you got here? You're not what I was expecting. This is a war mouth, I think. Ooh, you got that down there a little. I'm pretty sure this is a warm mouth. He's real spotted, but he doesn't have any signs of like the other types of sunfish. He's a little beat up too. If you look at his back tail. And he's got kind of these stripes down his face like you'd see on bass. So oops, he's bleeding a bit. I'm gonna get him back in. 
There we go. It's something at least. There's a fish. I got distracted by the honking. Hey, a little largey. This is what I was coming to catch. Ah, a little bit smaller than I'm hoping for, but I'll take it. Two fish, two types of fish. So thanks, bud. There's a fish. That's a better one. All right, all right. That's not a bass. Is that a bass? That is a bass, okay. No? Yes? No? It's a crappie. I didn't know there were crappie in this pond. It's a nice crappie. Well, that... That is a nice crappie. He's not a giant by any means. It's a uh, white crappie. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hmm. Usually white crappie have stripes going down. Kind of. This one's very spotted. I don't know. I'm going to call it a white crappie for now. But I didn't know they were in here. So that's cool. And uh, maybe there's some more over there. Hey, kind of kind of side flopped there. There's something. That one's a bass. Don't stop it. Stop jumping. Come here, bud. Yunk. I think this one's a little better than the last one. Just a little bit. There we go. Mm, similar, but this one was stronger for sure. A little thicker. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by, pal. Let's check out the ducks. Hello, ducks. What are you guys up to? You're going the same direction I'm going. This ain't going to work out. You want to get away from me, you got to go the other way. Look, there's a fish right there in front of me. Up, little fella. Nice little guy. Yeah, they ain't particularly large. They're plentiful. That crappie, he was he was particularly large. Not like giant, but he was a good size. Oh, there we go. There's a light hit. Eh, another little bass. Not too shabby a day. I didn't really think much to come out of this little part of the pond. Normally there's nothing here.
Oh, there we go. And another one. You're gonna rehook yourself. Stop it. Flyers out for this one. Let go. There we go. Bye, little guy. All right, let's get off the bridge. It's like four hits on the bridge. Two of them landed. That's pretty good. Let's walk around now. There's one. That little bitty one. It's the smallest one of the day, I think. But he uh, he had some gumption. Well, we'll give him credit for that. You may be tiny, but you have big heart and courage and hunger. Go free. There we go. It was a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. There, bud. Yeah. These fish are about the size that I was hoping to catch today. You don't even get them this big over in the uh, the great big pond. I think it's so overpopulated. You can catch some real big bluegill out there though, which is crazy. But, eh, not bad. There's another one. Ugh. About the same size, but not quite as strong. That other one put up a better fight. Yes, yes, yes. Can I pull three out of the same area? There's two so far. I can. I can indeed pull three from the same spot. Oh, there he goes. That counts. Three fish, three casts in one spot. Four is really testing my luck here. Holy shit. That is a crappie. Another. That is a nice crappie. God dang. I need a picture with this guy. Get the hooks out of him here. This is going to make my friends very jealous. There you go, bud. Well, no sense in not continuing to cast there until I stop catching fish. Five is too many. I thought four was too many, but five is too many. There's a fish. He hit a second 
touch the water. Not very big, but it's been a minute since I caught one. Scheme on in. about medium for what we're catching today and he flopped out of my hand there he goes i didn't have a hold of him too great so oh there's a fish i gotta you know, kind of just reel it in and walk around but you know, you got those casts that you don't expect anything to come of. Then you catch something. Oh, that's a surprise. This is not a bass. It's another new species, for the day at least. That is a big old bluegill. No wonder he felt so dang strong, even on my light action. That is a monster bluegill. He's at least half a pound, if not closer to maybe 10 ounces. I've weighed a lot of bluegill recently. Well, not recently, I guess last year, but that's a fat one. Cool. Another fish. I don't normally catch anything in this little tiny cove here. Hey. There's fish today. Come on now. Alright, the other one back in. There we go. There's a little guy. That is another, not a bass. Another big bluegill. Bluegills are uh, big and feisty in here. Like, look at the size of your mouth, bud. You weren't going to eat that too easily. You get it down to about there. I admire your uh, attempt, though. Yes, yes, fish. Ah, there you go. Nice guy. Thanks for playing. turtle in front of me oh and a fish grabbed it right in oh there he goes right in front of the big turtle oh it's still on there cool that's oh, another big bluegill That one might be our biggest bluegill today. There's some sizable fellas, and I like how they, they, I don't know how well the camera can see it, but they really got that purple all down their back through here. These guys are, however, a little difficult to hold because they're so wide. Something. Perfect timing. 
because I just made it back to the Jeep and I think it's crying. Oh, come on! Ew. Well, I'm not leaving now. There we go. Let go. Let go again. Come on! Give me a fish. I'm right here at the end. I just want to touch one more fish before I go. There we go. There's something. There's something. Skeet in. It's another crappie. That's what I want. This is how I want to end the day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Last fish. Ugh. Another nice one though. Good crappie in here. Alright. Well, that went a lot better than I expected. I didn't think I'd uh, run into some crappie that were so nice and or catch as many fish as I did. But it's a lesson in why you should buy things that you think are dumb or that you won't need because I like throwing things that look more natural like an actual fish. This is what I started off throwing today. Then I switched out because it wasn't working. So I was like, you know what? What I think works, let's use something that I don't think works. So I switched out to this kind of crawdad color swim bait here. Let me, so I can see what I'm looking at. And you know, I don't typically use crawdad colors because fish, I mean, fish don't look like crawdads. But hey, it, it tore it the hell up today. Got four different types of fish. Got a lot of little bass, and crappie, a couple big bluegill, and one warmouth. Lovely day. The rain hasn't started yet, surprisingly. But uh, the grocery store is open, so I guess I should go buy food. Although, I am right across the street from Sonic. I think you know what decision I'm going to make.